Welcome to 30th of June's Godly Blessing. Supreme Father wants us to be free from all the desires so that we are in remembrance of God the Father, the comfort of our hearts. So let's understand in details about this beautiful blessing. That how does it help us to be free from all desires and be connected to God? God says, May you become free from all desires by making all three aspects of time good, that is past, present and future with remembrance of the Father. Every second which is going is like past, past, past and also every second which is now is present, present, present. Every second which is going to come is the future. So God says the children who have remembrance of the Father, Supreme Creator, by considering yourself to be a soul, the comfort of hearts, the one who gives us comfort of the hearts, Dilaram, always sing the song, Wa Wa. No words of distress can emerge in their minds. Why did this happen? Oh my God, what is happening in my life? Why are all these things are happening? Why are these people are doing like this? They can never have any kind of distress, even in their dreams, because whatever has happened was Waha. Whatever is happening is Waha. And whatever is going to happen will also be Waha. That means wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. All three aspects of time are Wonderful, wonderful means waha, waha. That is, they are the best of all. So, we are actually cleansing and clearing all the hisab kitab or let's say all the dues which are there, which are supposed to be exchanged between souls. Then God says, when everything is good, no desire can arise because you can only say everything is good when you have all attainments. So, when everything is good, that means we don't have desires, we are not into greed, we are not into any kind of jealousy or any kind of expectations from anybody, then automatically when we don't have any desires, when we don't have any internal desires, then we are completely full. That means we are full of attainments. Of what? Godly attainments because the connection is with God and not with the physical things and physical people and physical world. So automatically our attainments are coming from Him and not from the world around us. Then God says, to be full of all attainments means to be free from all desires. Now that is very important for someone who is a parent, for someone who is a boss, for someone who is a CEO, or someone who is the head of the house. If they are complete and full and they are full of all attainments, that means the connection is with God automatically. That feeling of contentment, that feeling of complete happiness is going to flow into the people who are next to you, whether in your family, whether in your organization, whether in your uh, government organization or whether it's your own private firm or business is going to trickle down till the bottom. But if you're always full of desires and always competing, always criticizing, finding blames, pushing people around too much to reach your goals, which are mostly of full of greed and less of contentment then automatically this feeling of why 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 this is happening to me why not this instead of wah wah is going to come to you and that means dissatisfaction and that's what we learn in Brahma Kumari is how to stay away from this you too can come and learn this beautiful art I'm Shanti with this